good, what's good YouTube? It is Sunday and I am bringing you guys a collection pickup today. What I've picked up over the past month, everything from shoes, clothing, stuff that I got from SneakerCon, just kind of a random video of everything. I'm filming this on Sunday, October 2nd, so before I get any further, Happy birthday to T, I am TMC, I, I, and Mike, Mike the Compass. Both of them share a birthday today. Happy birthday to both of you guys. Hope you guys are having the best of your day. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys definitely give me a follow down below, subscribing. Also, making sure you guys leave me a thumbs up as it helps spread the channel. I greatly appreciate it. So let's kick it off with the first pickup, which was a sneaker pickup. You guys already saw me pick this pair up. However, I was able to double up. I had had my mom put in a raffle for the sneaker store because she uses the app so this is my other pair obviously because you guys have seen me wear them and these are not laced up so many other ones that are releasing the black toes hopefully the shadows you know the royals the what the jordans i'm sure there will be a shoe that i miss out on that's a jordan one here in the future so definitely good trade bait or if i just end up keeping these for a later use also before i get too sidetracked if you guys saw my last video i did pick up the easy 350s the new beluga the version 2 i said that i was going to show what those look like on feet. I'm going to incorporate that in my weekly rotation. So definitely stick tuned to this. I'll have the video up probably the day after or two days after this one goes up. So when I was at SneakerCon in Atlanta, I was lucky enough to have some of the guys bless me with some of their products. I wasn't obviously expecting to get anything from any of the guys. I would never ask for them, but they were nice enough to throw it my way. The least I can do is show you guys what they look like. But since I already mentioned him, this is Mike's hat, a sneaker life run it. You can see his logo right there. Sneak Geek, what's good? Mike knows what's good. Black and gold, everything. So like I said, normally you would not see me rocking hats like this just because the dad hat just, I think, looks a little weird on my head. I got a fat head. It's not a bad hat at all. I just gotta get used to trying to wear these around. Let me know what you guys think about these. If he still has any of these hats left, I'll definitely make sure that I link it on his website. Second hat actually came from Jordan from High Plan Worldwide, and you can see the Worldwide logo right there. Also with the flag patch on the back and the Hype Land Worldwide on the back. It's perfect for me because if I was going to wear hats like this, I would want them just the simple black. And if there are logos or anything on them, very simple, not too much on it. At first, I thought the patch was going to be way too much for the hat, but I honestly like it a lot. I actually wore this one yesterday, so I'm just trying to get used to wearing some of these. I still always stick with these type of hats, but it's always nice to kind of switch things up. And plus, anytime I can actually support the homies or anybody who's doing Doing good things with their brands I'm always down for that and the last one I feel like a hype beast as you guys know dream crew on the back with the 07 logo also I was helping him out with getting some of his stuff in order before they started selling their merch and he was nice enough to bless me with one of the shirts so this is the one that everybody was going crazy for. It's just the camo t-shirt. I feel like a hype beast. And then also with the crew on the back of the shirt. If anybody's wondering, they do shrink a little bit. I went with an extra large because I like my shirts to fit a little bit bigger and it's perfect. They shrink just a little bit so it actually fits me fine. Before I show the last two clothing items, there was one electronics item that I got. I stayed up the day of release. It was a 12 Pacific time release, so 3 a.m. my time. I actually stayed up fought through all the airs and everything and got it pre-ordered. However, this is the first iPhone that I was not able to pick up in store. Normally, I will always pre-order it so that I can go on release day, pick it up right from our Apple store, but unfortunately, none of the 7 Pluses got in. I took a big L on that and I ended up just getting it now, almost four weeks later. Either way, it's nice just to have the phone. Mixed feelings on other people and what they like the best, but I definitely think the matte black looks the best, and this is the 128 gigabyte. Definitely happy with everything on this. The difference between the six and the seven isn't anything like crazy, but if you're a person like me who just likes to have the newest thing from Apple, then I'm sure you're probably gonna wanna grab it. And then for as far as the last two clothing items, I grabbed this oversized t-shirt from H&M. Typically their shirts like this are like $5.99 in stores. However, this is a little bit thicker material it's got the oversized fit here and it's the $12.99. So it's like a silky material, which I really like on it. And wearing shirts underneath the bombers and hoodies for the fall, it's definitely just a really nice silky piece to have. And last but not least, if you guys saw my last video, I was actually wearing this one, but this is the latest pickup that I got from Adidas. If you guys go into PacSun, Finish Line, I believe Foot Locker, and one other place I saw, Champs, 
They have this exact same sweatshirt. It's the one that's $65. If you play it smart like I did, they never go on sale at PacSun or Champs or anything like that. Finish line will accept their $20 rewards. I was able to scoop this up for around 40 bucks. Perfect oversized fit. So that it's just the simple Adidas with the logo. But I've obviously seen a few people rocking this one. I just was not gonna pay that $65. I was waiting for my $20 card to get in. Hopefully you like the pickups down below. Let me know what you thought about them, which ones you guys liked. Mike. Kais or Jordan from Hypeland. If any of them still have any of their products available, I will definitely link them down below so you guys can check them out. We'll be bringing the on feet for the Yeezys and the rest of the stuff that I wore during the week here very soon. As soon as I get done with this video and get it uploaded, I'm gonna go straight to go get that done. Hopefully you guys are enjoying your weekend. The Colts are actually playing right now early because they're playing overseas. I'm definitely gonna go watch the rest of that game. Just had to take a quick break for a video. But until next time guys, I will talk to you soon. Peace.